Hello to you. I'm Shelly Munis. It is October the 28th and here are the six things to know. OK, another warm one today. Possible record heat again in Miami. If we hit 90, that'll tie a record. Good chance at uh, at least tying some record warm lows this morning as well. So this warm stretch continues for October. Only a 10% chance of a shower as well this afternoon and a subtle breeze near the coast. We stay mostly uh, rain free, warm and muggy all week long. President Trump says the United States has brought the world's number one terrorist leader to justice, the leader of ISIS. The president says that Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi killed himself and three of his children after detonating a suicide vest as U.S. forces were closing in. The family of a journalist from South Florida who was killed by ISIS is calling the news a victory. Several people were in the hospital this morning after an accident involving a car and a Miami-Dade aviation bus this weekend. Reports say that the people involved were sent to Ryder Trauma Center with life-threatening injuries. Two people are dead after two separate hit and run crashes in Fort Lauderdale from over the weekend. In one case, a man was hit by what investigators believe was a 2011 to 2019 Silver Hyundai Sonata in the area of West Broward Boulevard and Northwest 7th Avenue. The second victim is a woman who may have been hit by a large commercial vehicle or possibly a semi truck near Sunrise Boulevard and Northwest 10th Avenue. Let's go to Northern California now where firefighters there continue to struggle to get the upper hand on the Kincaid fire. Flames have already burned some 84 square miles of land in California's wine country. The fire has destroyed at least 94 structures and is threatening 80,000 more. And there's a manhunt in Texas for a gunman who opened fire at an off campus college party, killing two people and injuring 14 others. Police say at around midnight on Sunday, the gunman walked into the back of the venue, pulled out a handgun and started shooting. The sheriff says the shooter who was not attending the party may have targeted the first victim and then fired randomly. And those are your six things to know for today. You can always follow all of these stories and get a check on the forecast on the NBC6 app. And remember, you can watch NBC6 on our app Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube. We'll see you dark and early tomorrow morning.